Hey, welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. <sighs> Today, um, let's see. Eh, let's play as Isaac. The last two runs with Kanan. <sighs> Question mark went fucking terrible. Might as well start off on a good note. Have something decent to go off with, at least. And not absolutely nothing. My question mark does in an actual spacebar item. Unlike Kane. You know, I like Isaac better than Kane. Got head. Dead head. Yep. Slew of easy rooms so far. Way easier than I'm used to. Bomb. Uh, I'm guessing the secret room's gonna be like right here. It usually is. Wow. That was way wrong. Don't know where else I could be. It'd probably be like to that top room and left of it. Which one place I could think of it being. Come on, I need a key. We get for oh, pfft, yeah, right. Oh come on! I swear to God, every time I'm recording, the game has to screw me over in some way. What do we get in here? Just some money. That's great. And a red fire. <sighs> yep, let's just go fight our boss. Holy lag. Yeah, it's just famine. No biggie. Got one sniper fly. Another one. Yeah. I like to spawn these flies. Best way to kill those, he to kill him himself. If he moves along the right angle. As long as he doesn't spawn any ball sack flies, I'm good. No, 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 no! Asshole. Which I was fighting the other version of Famine that's, like, way easier. It only does is, like, jump at you. They'll charge at you. Oh, well, we're gonna get a cube of meat, unfortunately. Nothing really special about this. Oh yeah, I didn't record one of these yesterday. I would gotten a uh, new DLC for Dark Souls, so... I was just busy playing it all day, and I completely disregarded this, because I was having so much fun with the Dark Souls DLC. So I just thought, eh, I'll just... Well, I completely disregarded it. So today, I'm gonna try until I actually succeed. I might record one or two episodes. I think I'll record two. Because I kind of skipped one yesterday, so might as well. And with all that talking, I should have been killing that stupid spider spawner. Don't be spawning a spider, you piece of shit. There we go. I swear to God, that always hits me. Okay, four leaping spiders. The under arcade up there. We got the shop back at the starting room. I just need to find the item room. God damn it! This has already been going. This has already started off really bad. I'm down to one heart. I didn't pick up any item on the first floor. I got a cube of meat for my first boss fight. Like, there's, there's gotta be some, like, curse if you're let's playing something. It's, everything's going to go horribly wrong. I know there's, like, something people have talked about before. It's like, oh, nothing ever goes right when you're recording. That is very true. Come on. 
Okay, so the item room's gotta be in that one place I didn't check. Secret room should probably be here. And it's not. Well, gave me half heart anyway. Don't have to try. Keep trying and you shall succeed eventually. Or you just fail a bunch of times and you learn from those stupid problems. I'm honestly surprised I did not gotten hit. I'm gonna get hit by the spider now because I said that. Oh, no I didn't. And a key so I can actually get into this room. Red fire. Don't shoot me, please. Hmm, I'm wondering, could it shoot me if it's in front of an orange fire? Guess I won't know. Because I killed it. What we got in our item room? God damn it. Oh, yes. Thank you. That was one of the best things I could have ever gotten in that. The wafer is one of the best items in the game, in my personal opinion. Because it makes all the damage you take half heart. Regardless of where you are in the game, what enemy you're facing, or if you get blown up by a bomb or something like that. It will always be half of a heart. It is awesome. And now this is going to be like a chest or something. No. Spirit heart, you can bomb back. Sweet deal. So then the secret room would probably be right here. Yes, no. Oh, what the hell? Well, I'm stumped. <sighs> Always make sure I have water during these recording sessions. <clears throat> Alright, we got the widow. The Why do we always fight the... Why do I always have to fight this version of the Widow? I swear to God, every time I've recorded, this is the version I fight. I don't think I fought the normal one ever since I've recorded this. Sir Edmund McMillan has it out for me now. Oh, uh, man. So many spiders. God damn. I wonder if there's a limit to how many of these things you can spawn. I need a damage upgrade. Also, in all these videos, I get like one damage upgrade throughout the entire fucking playthrough. I only get one damage upgrade. That's been like the failure of almost all the runs is because of me only getting one damage upgrade. And that was some super lag that I just had. Okay, health up. Not gonna complain about that. We got deal with the devil. Please be something decent. Uh, packed, I'll take it. It's damage up, two spirit hearts, I'll take it. I've got judgment over there. A couple nutsack flies, a couple spiders, nothing really to worry about. All I'm just glad is that I'm doing a little bit more damage now than I was before. Chest I can't open, or even remotely get to right now. Got some keepers. Reed heads, what do you want to call them? Or since I've seen the real name, I just want to call them keepers, just because people bug the shit out of me when I don't call things by the right name. Oh, it's a keeper! It's not a greed head! Um, kinda looks like greed. It takes your coins when it shoots you. Um, I would think it's a greed head. And I'm pretty sure that thing's just a leaper remodeled as greed. And given no body. I could, if I could get one bomb, I would be able to play Judgment. Oh, and it tempts me even further! Now it gives me some golden shit. It's gonna give me some big coin out of this too. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. That was short lasting. That was pretty damn short lived. And my cursor is on the screen again. We'll move that in a second. And 
now it's over top of another program. Okay. Okay, I need a key now. Yeah, shoot the poop and see if I get any bombs out of it. Well, not bombs. Keys. I get a bomb to get a key. Well, I actually got a bomb now, so I could probably go play Judgment and might get a key out of him. At least that's what I'm hoping. Alright, buddy. Come on, give me some keys. Up, oh, compass is nice too. I'll take that. What's our pill? Range up. Cool. Alright, we got a bunch of fucking spiders in this room. I hadn't had enough of these things by now for fighting the widow last four. Alright, come on. Stop trolling me. Just split into two. Now die. Thank you. Key, please. Not that. Okay, got us a couple nutsack flies. And a bunch of eternal flies in the middle there. Ooh, I'm gonna there. I'm gonna take out the eternal flies first because they'll be getting in my way if I try to dodge the ball sack fly. That's my name for it. As is probably a lot of other people's names. Oh, great, of course. I'm just not allowed to have nice things, are I? Aren't. Yeah. Are I? I guess that's what I'd say. Yep, let's just go fight our boss, see who we got. I feel like I'm doing a purist run, because I've not picked up anything from an item room yet. Actually, no, wait, I picked up the wafer. But still. Ah, uh, Pestilence. At least that's a decent upgrade. Got a couple maggots. I hate the ones that move at you. I hate them so much. The ones that just shoot, I really don't care about. Whoa, he shot like four. That makes a lot of lag. He starts shooting a lot of them, I start lagging like crazy. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's kind of annoying when I don't really need it. Okay, Bestlin, stop spawning those really annoying ones. Please just spawn the shooting ones that die really fast. Uh, oh, you killed him at least. All right, halfway dead. Uh, yeah. Well, if I can get to fight War, oh, God damn it! Well, at least it's only half hard because of Wafer. If I fight war and death, or not war and death, then I'll definitely approve of getting this cube of meat. But generally, I'll just find two of them and never find a third one or a fourth one. I mean, just getting a third one is really helpful. All right, no deal, with the devil. Let's see what we get in there. Yep, yep, Krampus. Which I'm fine with that, I'll just re-roll his item into a better item. With my luck, it's just gonna be like fucking nine lives or something. I always love the boss music in this game. Krampus is just like an easier version of the Fallen. And the Fallen really isn't that tough in the first place. Ah, oh, damn it. Nope, dodge it. Ow, I'm stupid. Uh, 
Well, Krampus, you're gonna die soon. I was actually hoping it was Krampus for this fight. Let's see what we get. Ooh, technology. I'll take that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. Alright, this should be simple in here, huh? Yep, that was an easy room. And I'm not really sure why I'm shooting so fast, but I'm not complaining. Okay, a key. Thank you. Bomb and a key. Pretty sure the item room is down here. Actually, maybe I'll try bomb here and see if the secret room's here too. Nope. Uh, TNT. Killed the whatever that head's called. There goes the champion hive. Got the empress. Save that for a boss fight. Alright, some more hives. Be easy. Alright. Let's see if we got an item room. Uh, nope. Reroll. Nope. I'd probably take fucking Lemon Mishap over that thing. Holy Water is just a passive version of Lemon Mishap that sucks. And it only breaks when you get hit. And you'll get to choose where it lands. So, in my opinion, that's a pretty shitty item. Well, I wish I could make a key so I could go to the shop as well, because I've got 15 pennies. Alright, this last guy should die pretty soon. Well, let's fight the boss now. Chubb. And it's the champion version of Chubb. I think he should die pretty fast. Especially with this technology, the Empress bonus combo, or whatever you want to call it. That was ridiculously easy. Alright, we got the 8 ball. Tears up. Which I could use for. I could use that. Get a tinted rock. Uh, well, whatever. Yeah, saves me backtracking. Do shoot faster now, don't I? Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's see what we get. Uh, wow, that is, that is literally the worst item in the game. I would have rather took the holy water over that. Because at least holy water doesn't fucking hurt me. Kamikaze is probably the most useless item in the game. Unless you're Eve. Even then, it's still pretty much a. Seriously. Let's see what we got up here. Up, oh, died one shot from the, the meat. Yeah, I thought that would have. Of course, it's a chest. No nope, spirit hearts. I can't have nice things out of those. No, I can't. I. Game too easy. Cause fun doesn't exist, especially with troll boxes like this. Oh, come on. Alright. I don't know how that didn't work the first time, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna go check out our shop. After we kill Larry Jr. here very fast. I'm stupid because I got hit. Alright, he's dead. Another key. What do we got in our shop? Of course it's green. See what I mean by my luck is complete and utter garbage? Alright, a dime. I can use that on the next floor. 
<laughs> oh, but the next one's gonna be super green. Because it definitely won't be what I want it to be. Let's shoot all this shit and see if it gives us anything. It gives half heart we don't need. Okay. We'll re-roll the item room item. I mean, the teleporter I could re-roll and try to get something nice, but... Kamikaze is way worse, and I could definitely get something better out of it. Yep, not better. Well, better, but not what I wanted. It's actually usable and passive, so I won't waste my fucking item slot. I like trying to keep the D6 as long as possible, until at least the depths. And then after the depths, I'll usually get rid of it. Or if I don't find a very good space for an item, I will just keep it for the chest and try to re-roll the items in the chest. If I get that far. Which, who the hell knows, I probably won't with my luck. Okay, so I don't see to the either down or to the left. I'm gonna go down. And it's definitely not down. What are you doing here, Larry Jr.? I already killed you like three times. So it's definitely to the left. And now, my favorite part about this laser... Not to worry about the knights, because it pierces them. Now the keys, so I go to the shop too. Fire. Alright, rain. I've got no brain, no so I would be playing this game. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna hit that. I hate the creep these things leave. So annoying. Unless you have a flying item, then they're just literally fucking punching bags. I'm surprised it wasn't super greed with my luck. Now I'm gonna 9 volt. It's might might prove useful later. Yeah, it's got a few flies. In a turret. Alright. We got in our item room. Chocolate milk. Uh, how about not? <laughs> I'd rather took the monstrous. <laughs> I'd rather took the chocolate milk and said, oh, why did that change to a... Wow, what the hell? Was it just me, or did that thing change to a... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> A bomb turret. Okay, if they turn into a bomb turret when I was in there, that'd be some fucking shenanigans. This laser's firing really fast. Love it. Although it's nothing like that one heart brimstone we got in the first video. Oh no. Would be my luck to walk into a room and find a mega troll bomb. Just like me. And a regular troll bomb. Got a few sniper flies in here. And one big one. I'm out of spirit hearts, which kind of worries me. But until I go down, I'm not down. Let's go re-roll our item room item again. I mean, if it's an if it's a space bar item that's actually good, I will definitely keep it. I'll definitely take it. But if it's just some mediocre like like this, oh cool mini mush. It's definitely good. Speed and range. I want the speed part. I don't give a shit about the range because I already have it in range. I think it gives you tears up too. Maybe I don't know. And it's definitely worth taking over the monstrous tooth. <laughs> that is for damn sure. And I don't know what chocolate milk does with... Well, actually, no, I do. I've gotten it before and I didn't like it. So I'm glad I didn't take it. I've only gotten one damage up. Just like last time. That 
trend just seems to keep going. But when I play off camera, I get everything I want. Well, not always, but sometimes I do. Just gotta persevere until I die. Which feels like very soon. The world. I will definitely save that for another floor. Because I don't feel like wasting my... Just to find, I don't feel like wasting it just to find the secret room. Which I think I might know where it is. Actually, no way I don't, because there's like three or four different places it could be. Alright. Got a couple blast assists. Yeah. Is it just me, or do they sound like pigs when you kill them? That was just me. I'm not sure. Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you. Yes. Definitely give me one of my favorite familiars in the game. And he is honestly a very easy boss. I don't think there is anything tough about him. All you gotta do is be able to dodge, like, diagonal shots from the little ones he spawns. As well as when he, when he shoots, like, the little tar blast at you. Like that, which is really slow and easy to dodge. And the creep doesn't hurt you either, it just slows you down. Oh shit, I didn't expect him to land there. Kinda expected him to land where I was standing, because that's what he usually does. Wow, I actually got hit by that. And I got little Gish, which is a very, very good familiar. Alright, now let's go look for a secret room. It could be here. Nope. <clears throat> There's a few places it could be. It could be here. Nope. Might just be wasting my time and bombs. Might be here. God damn. I'm way off on my guesses today. Of course, it would be the last one I check. And it's a bunch of money. Couldn't have been an item. Couldn't, definitely couldn't have been something like, I don't know, Epic Fetus or Dr. Fetus or um, One Up or Raw Liver. Something that gives me a benefit above what you usually get. Or just an item in general so I can re-roll it. <sighs> I just have a feeling we're gonna <clears throat> die like in the womb or something, I'm guessing. Curse of Darkness. Oh my god. Of course, the one time where I want to use the world on the next floor. I swear, someone had to have been listening on that to be like, oh, we're just gonna put Curse of Darkness on the now so you can't use that. Ha, 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 yeah, right. You wish, buddy. Now, that's the mom boss fight. Can't really, don't want to really go to that yet. Yeah, you got a bunch of meat boys. Or, I know their real name, Globlins, but I don't really want to call them that because that would be too normal. Oh no, that would be too... I don't know what you call it. Yeah, let's say normal. Actually, that'd be abnormal, because I normally don't hear, hear people call them by their real names at all. I want to find the item room. Okay, this Larry Jr. is going to give us a spirit when he does. So I think he is. Yes, he does. We got keys, spirit heart, some leapers that aren't. Uh, some leapers are gonna piss me off. A bunch of slowdown. Holy fuck! Why? Why is there a bunch of lag in here? 
boss room, well, boss arena. Hmm. Our shop and uh, item room must be like next to each other or something. Oh, come on, brain. Oh, asshole. Let's check this chest. Eh, missing page. Been in it a lot, so yeah, it could be useful. Maybe. Killed a couple turrets. Come on, last turret. Damn it. Alright. I wish I could get that tarot card. This one's kind of useless right now. Yep, just like I thought. The item room and the shop were right next to each other. And this is the last shop, too. So I think it's the last shop. Yeah, it's Dips, too. That's the last shop. And it's bomb. Let's see what's in our item room. Not that, please. Rooms are reopening again. Well, I'll definitely be buying the Spirit Heart. Might as well buy this. That's range up. What do you do? Telepill. Thanks. So we got two telepills, uh, telepills, and one mystery pill in there. Yeah, I got it. Is that a champion one? I don't know. It's bad now. Yep, I'm lost. Actually, I think I don't want to know. That was the starting room, and this way leads to the item room, I think. Well, at least to the shop. <sighs> That's why I hate having a map. Because I can't see jack shit. Alright, that's a telepill. It's probably gonna be something bad. Nope, it's nothing. Uh, don't care about the telepills. I'm just gonna take the world, kill these fires, and just move on. I mean, if those telepills teleported me to the I Am Error room, that'd be pretty awesome, but probably won't, so. Well, that and I'd miss out on getting an item from Mom. Some of these guys with the extendo heads. And there goes my whole spirit heart, I guess. Yeah. Come on, little buddy. Die, die. Thank you. Okay, cool. I think I'll go to that fortune teller and spend the last of this money on the fortune teller. Oh, man. Alright, let's see what we get. Just don't be the tech, please. I don't worship anything. Uh, child's heart. Nah. I'd rather not look at the sun. Or the moon. Derp. Oh, come on. Like I said... Oh, I'm gonna keep asking. You better give me something. Spirit Heart. That's good. What's Terra Card? Death. Eh. Keep the world. Come on, something. Push pin. Uh, I'm not sure if it makes my laser. It would make my laser... Oh, come on. I don't want the missing page. I want the fucking world card. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure if it makes my laser transparent or not. Let's see. I don't know. No idea. But, uh, let's go check and see if we can re-roll this item and get something halfway decent. 
I doubt it, but might as well try. Oh, I'll keep you on it for some reason. Alright. What do I get? What do I get? At? Oh, magnet. Might as well. We have enough rooms left to re-roll anything anyway. We can't even re-roll what mom gives us either. <clears throat> I actually just took the sack of pennies and, and just got it instead. Actually, oh, I gotta play this blood bank a couple times. Sorry about yawning so much. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I am. Guess recording sessions like these just piss me off so much I get tired. Oh wait, I should have got that bomb. Come here, bomb. Uh, there you go. I would play Demon Judgment, but I don't have don't think I have the hearts at the level to pay for that. Let's just go fight Mom and get maybe we'll win, maybe we'll lose. Ah, that's normal Mom. If it was Red Champion Mom, there is no doubt in my mind we would win this. But it's just regular Mom, so there's somewhat of a fight here. If it was Blue Mom, we'd be fucked for sure. Eat a lot of things. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of damage. We're doing some damage. We're not doing enough, but we're doing some. At least not enough for my standards. Ow, oh, damn it, I wasn't watching. I was trying to watch the hive over there just gonna blew up. And the mulligan. I need to pay attention to the foot. I'm trying to stay in the middle here so that hand doesn't spawn into the wall. Because that's one of the most annoying parts of this fight for me, that damn hand. I like how the game gives me like one of my favorite items, but it also gives me like no upgrades to what I need either. Like the wafer is probably one of my favorite items in the game. So, and of course, it doesn't give me anything to stack upon its usefulness. I mean, now, even in the womb, we still, still don't have to worry about it. Oh, God, we still don't have to worry about damage, just because we're still only going to take half heart. Let's see what's in our secret room. Now, uh, maybe Gish and... Maybe maybe will kill it. And they did. Oh, God, I forgot that the... Magnet pulls those towards me too. What if it pulls the mega troll bombs faster? Oh yeah, that was so worth the bomb. Uh, let's just go fight the boss and get this on with. I could try to go to the curse room, but what's the point? If I get another heart, I'll go to the curse room. Fuck it, I'll just play this. Oh, cool, spirit heart. Bombs. So I'll use to blow up that blood bank back there. Pill, probably gonna hurt me. Yep, luck down. Woohoo, because my luck already isn't bad enough. Not bad enough, so it's got to be made worse. Ooh, for me. Let's see, chest filled with the spirit hearts. And probably something stupid. Yep. Troll bomb. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Thought they weren't close enough. Eh, yeah, well. I just blow this up. Let's see what we get out of it. Half heart and a coin. And Demon Judgment, and a straight shot to our boss. It's Daddy Long Legs. Eh, not that tough of a boss. He's had lots of invincibility frames that just takes a while to kill. Kind of unpredictable, too. 
Like that. So he might take a while to kill just because he doesn't really stay in one spot for a very long time. And there we go with that again. Spawn spiders too. And there goes the area. I want to get the Daddy Long Legs item just because I've never gotten it before. And I, from what I've seen before, that item is supposedly really good. At least from what I see, it, in my opinion, it's good. Everyone has a differing opinion on why items are good and bad. Just like in my opinion, holy water is complete shit, but in someone else's usage, it can be useful. Uh, I'm gonna reroll for damage. Yeah, health works too. And now I might trade it off with Satan. Uh, no. Normally I would have picked the nail up, but it wasn't really worth it. Um, I think it's down. Yep, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. Should just stay there. Got some pretty good crowd control, but I have nowhere near enough damage to beat Isaac if we get to him. And then if somehow a miracle happens, we get to the chest, I'm just gonna get completely raped by whatever I find. Okay, I was wrong. It's to the right. I might as well kill fish to lull him in here. Not that not too tough of a loss at all. Alright. What do we get? Another key. If I make it at the chest, I will definitely be able to use these keys that I find. Alright, empty room. Definitely need to go this way. Laser eye that I hate. That's a very annoying laser eye. Not a regular laser eye that you can just like run in a circle and kill. That thing's annoying as fuck. Shoots the fucking brimstone laser at you. Normally I pick that up because that's a damage up uh, damage up now. I thought that was a speed up, but that's actually a damage up now. I could have sworn it was speed. Really the hoof is speed now. I guess they kind of swapped them. Maybe they did. Come on. <laughs> yep, got a couple. What those things are? Fetuses, maybe? Or something. I don't know what they are. Okay, what's this pill gonna do for us? Tears up. Shoot faster. If a damage up pill existed, I would love to find one. But that means there'd probably be a damage down pill, which means that would be even worse. Okay, I'm gonna fight Mom's Heart. Or it lives, whatever you wanna call it. I still say it's Mom's Heart. Okay, another key. Alright, fight Mom's Heart. The most patternistic boss in the entire game. Better off take some hits, because I need to kill that thing really fast. Okay, how much damage am I doing to this fucker? Not much. But at least I can kill these guys at pretty long range. <coughs> Gish should be able to slow them all down. At least three familiars, I am doing at least some damage, but not as much as I'd like to do. Like, I wish I had a Brimstone or a Dr. Fetus or something that was able to do a little more damage, or Poly Polyphemus at least. I mean, if I got Polyphemus plus 
the pact, I would be doing substantially more damage. At least I think I would be. <laughs> or you also include the laser. I would have like a giant laser running across the screen. It would be really wide. It would be about as wide as uh, I think Mom's heart is right now. Or about maybe as wide as like all my familiars together is shooting. It's pretty damn big. I hope I can kill her off enough before she spawns. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, just take that back. He's already spawned. But he's not the one I'm worried about. I'm worried about Chubb. Well, not because he's tough to kill, but because it just takes me longer to kill one thing. But uh, Rainbow Baby and Little Gish seem to be slowing him down pretty substantially. All right, that wasn't difficult at all. In the bomb shooting phase, pretty soon I think. Yep, right now. We will most definitely be making it to the cathedral, but getting past it and Isaac, I highly doubt it. Come on. You're almost dead. Alright, she did. Well, let's head up. It would be either left or up. It might look like it's going to be up, but I'm going left. Oh boy, this is bad. I actually went out of this room. That's like the worst room you could ever get in this game. <laughs> I shit you not, that's like the worst room you can get in this area. Two greeds and a fistula. At least it wasn't a super greed, or else it would spawn two keepers and fuck with me even more. There's seriously nothing in here? <sighs> Gotta kill greed and fucking fistula. It'll be a normal fistula now. Yeah. I'm still gonna try to get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. At least they didn't fuck with me at all. Okay, angel fetuses, I can deal with this. These I can deal with. Greed and fistula, I can't. Well, can, but don't want to. Oh, nice. Thanks for giving me all this money on the last floor where we literally have nothing to gain from it. Yeah, the widow is dead. Alright, let's see what we get from our tinted rock. Probably a chest. Or, no, oh, it's a uh, damage upgrade. Plus two damage. Actually, no, plus one damage. And, uh, plus, plus one damage, plus one tier, minus one speed. Which I am fine with. I didn't know those things could have champion variants. Okay, this next room should be our boss. Oh, but of course, we have to fight two helmets. Couldn't be easy, could it? Couldn't get by the cathedral without having one difficult room. Well, I think I've done that before, where it's like literally like maybe one difficult room and the rest was just a fucking cakewalk. Alright. Gotta get prepared, take a drink of water, and. Switch out my hands. Uh, keep it on the keyboard all day. Alright. Let's do this. Isaac versus Isaac. Best music in the game. I've got so many familiars shooting at him right now that he's just going to be constantly shooting stuff at me. I mean, you meet blocking a little bit of it. Yeah, well, we're doing better than some of our other runs, surprisingly enough. We're doing better than the Brimstone run, shockingly enough. Which is weird, because Brimstone generally would do more damage than this. 
Well, this is a constant stream of a laser beam, so maybe not. I need to pay attention to those tears. I would be talking more, but I gotta focus. I gotta keep my head in this. And I'm. <laughs> uh, even when I'm not talking, I seem to be doing just as bad. Whoa, whoa. God, God damn it. Hate those homing tears. They're so annoying. Well, I'm an idiot. Uh, what the hell did I get hit by there? I don't know why I get by there. Okay, he's probably gonna enter his third phase pretty soon. And now he's gonna go pieces. And I shoot six homie tears instead of three or four. And I'm gonna super slow down because of obviously there's a lot of stuff on the screen. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. Because there's a fuck ton of angel pieces on the screen right now. And he's calling down beams from heaven. And if I hit again, there's Polaroid kicking in. Yeah, one more time, it's over. I'm trying so hard not to- Oh, that was literally the last tier. That was literally the last tier on the screen. Oh, uh, well. That was a decent run, better than what I usually get, so... Well, I'm gonna record, save this and probably record another episode, so I'll see you guys later.